What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my second video of the day. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Cleveland Guardians offseason and what I expect them to do. Now, I'm not going to talk about specific like names in terms of free agents and stuff just yet. That'll be coming later because right about now we're just starting to see players, you know, get their options picked up or the declining options. You know, we've seen some trades go down. Things are starting to happen. And I feel like the Guardians will make a couple moves, but not really sure what they're going to do just yet. But uh, getting into my off-season wish list for the Guardians, of course, uh, number one, well, actually, technically, it's not really number one. They're not in really any specific order. But one of the top priorities is definitely sign or trade for a good starting pitcher. You look at our starting rotation right now, as it stands. It's not great. Of course, Shane Bieber is currently a free agent, as is Matthew Boyd and Alex Cobb. They all elected free agency. You have Tanner Bybee, Tristan McKenzie, I believe Ben Lively, Kevin Williams, and Logan Allen, with a little maybe uh, Joey Cantillo as well. No. <laughs> you gotta go out and obviously like bring back Bieber, bring back Boyd, sign or trade for a starting pitcher, and then see what else you can get out of maybe Tristan. Maybe Tristan has a resurgence next year. I heard he's already trying to work his way back into his old form. Man, if we can get like old Tristan McKenzie back, re-injury all, oh, that would be huge. But yeah, we definitely need at least one good starting pitcher to go along with bringing back Bieber, who won't be ready for the start of this season, obviously. And then you have Boyd, and then you're probably going to have, you're going to have Bybee, you're going to have Gavin, and then we'll see what else we get. But yeah, definitely one of the top priorities is getting a starting pitcher to go along with what I just said. Number two, sign a bench bat. Because you look at our bench. Not really much there. You have Junk, Will Brennan. Technically, I guess it could be Austin Hedges, although he's a free agent. You're going to need a backup catcher. And what? Schneeman? Yeah, our bench just... Nah, nah, you could probably sign a good bench bat, for sure. Number three, sign or trade for a power bat. Specifically, outfield. There's a couple of names in mind, but yeah, we will definitely uh, have a good idea of what we're going to do when it comes to a power bat. I know we have John Kenzie Noel, we have Josh Naylor, but they have their limits, right? Obviously, Jonk can mash lefties. I guess Josh Naylor can crush righty, so I guess there's that. But obviously, Josh Naylor cannot play the outfield anymore because of his uh, ankle injury a few years ago. I still remember when that happened. But yeah, I think they will definitely address the lack of power in the lineup for sure. And then the second most important thing, I guess, getting a hitting coach. Now, right off the bat, there are two names that have come out from Guardians Twitter. Uh, Kevin Seitzer, former Atlanta Braves hitting coach, and Junior Patances, who is already in the organization, I believe. He was with the Columbus Clippers. So a lot of the guys in our organization know, and they've played under Junior Patances. And for those wondering, Kevin Seitzer was actually a Cleveland Indian player from 1996 to 1997. So, yeah, there's that. He also coached with the D-backs in 07. He was with Kansas City from 2009 to 2012, with Toronto in 2014, and then he was with the Braves from 2015 up until this past season. So, yeah, he was a key part in the Braves' offense being one of the best in the league last couple of years, with Acuna, Albies, Riley, among others. So, yeah, you bring him over here, I bet you he could uh, bring out the best in our hitters for sure. But those are just four key parts of what I expect to be a very interesting offseason for the Guardians coming off an ALCS appearance. 
And if things would have maybe went differently, they probably could have made it to the World Series, right? Because every game, aside from one, was close against the Yankees. They had a chance to win almost every game. It's crazy how that goes, right? We took the Yankees to the bitter end. Just couldn't finish them off. It is what it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell. And uh, I'll be live in a little while. In fact, uh, I'm probably already live. Or actually, by the time I upload this, I've probably already streamed. <laughs> so uh, hopefully the Cavs got the win. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. Shout out to everybody who uh, watches these videos. Shout out to everybody who watched all my Guardians streams this year. It was fun doing the Guardians, but now it's off-season. It's going to be a long and quiet one. I already know that for sure. So, of course, if the Guardians do make any signings or trades, you already know. I'll have a video for it. And then, of course, I have a video when they uh, hire a new hitting coach, whoever it'll be. I'm hoping it's either Seitzer or Patances. But, again, we'll see what they do. So, with that being said... Let's go Guardians. I'm Crazy Dog, and I'm out. Bye-bye.